okay? Lesson 35, and this is about word problems, okay? And there were problems about comparing something, or even word problems about elapsed time. And I'll explain what all that means in just a minute, okay? So, listen to this story, okay? We're talking about a football team, okay? The biggest player on the football team weighs 245 pounds, okay? And then the smallest player on the football team weighs 160 pounds, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, they want to know the biggest player weighs how much more than this player? The biggest player weighs how much more than the smallest player, okay? And when you're working problems like, did you hear that? It said how much more? Okay, it means it's a subtraction problem, okay? Even though it says how much more, you're going to actually do subtraction, okay? And you're going to use this formula, okay? Here's the formula you're going to use. Larger, the larger number, minus the smaller number, write this down, equals the difference, okay? The larger number minus the smaller number equals the difference between the two, okay? You got that written down? Mm -hmm. All right, so based on this equation, it asks this question, how much more does the bigger player weigh than the smaller player? So what am I going to do, Elon? Based on what I just wrote? Subtract. Control? You're going to subtract. What from what? 245 from 160. 245 minus the smaller number. So we got the larger and then the smaller. And we're going to come up with the difference. See those letters that I put? Larger, smaller, difference. Okay? So let's do this, all right? Five, take away nothing. You would still have five left. Six, and I gotta have four, so I'm gonna borrow one and bring it over, which makes it 14. So that's gonna be eight, and then one take away one is zero. So, how much more does this, the um, larger guy weigh more than the smaller guy? 85 more pounds. 85 more pounds, okay? So that's the difference. That's what we just discovered. Okay, now, I'm going to write that down. Larger minus the smaller equals the difference. I'm just going to kind of write that down on the side so you can see. Listen to this word problem. We have two brothers. One's name is Abe, and the other one's name is Gabe. <laughs> that would kind of get confusing around the house, right? Okay, Abe and Gabe. Now listen to this. Abe is six years younger than his brother Gabe. So Abe is six years younger. I'm just going to write down the key information. Okay? Then it tells me this. Abe is 11 years old. Okay, it also told us that he's 11 years old. Okay, now, help me to put in these numbers so that we can see, all right? Do we know what the, lar the larger or the greater age is? Do we know how old Gabe is? Uh, yes. No, not yet we don't, based yeah. on the information. Uh, no. Not yet, okay. So, we don't know Gabe is the larger because he's the older, right? Okay, we don't know what that one is. But do we know Abe's age? Yes. Yes, and what is Abe's age? 11. Uh-huh. And then what is the difference? Is he six years younger? That tells me that's the difference between the two. They're six years apart. That's the difference, D. Abe's the smaller one. We don't know Gabe's. Got it? So what this is saying is what minus 11 equals six? Mm -hmm. How would I do that? Do you remember? You could add 11 and 6. Very good. And what would I get? 17. Yep. Let's see if that works. 17 take away 11 equals 6. Very good. So Gabe is 17 years old. You're exactly right. So he did 11 plus 6 and got 17. Very good. All right. That is using um, comparison.
Jackson word problems. Okay, this next thing we're going to learn about is a weird word called elapsed time. You want to write this word down too. Elapsed time. Elapsed time is kind of like um, the comparison problems we just did, okay? But this time you're talking about time. How much time has gone by, okay? So, for example, if we we're looking like at a timeline, um, this is the earlier time, and this would be the later. So, for example, if this was 1980, this would be 2012. You see that? Or 2014, whatever it is. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, earlier and later, and then we try to figure out how much time has elapsed from this time to this time. Okay, that's what we're working with today. Okay, so let's look at one of these problems. And here's the question. How many years were there from 1492 to year 1620? Okay, and the way we're going to be working these problems is we're going to say um, the later minus the earlier equals the difference. Okay, so it's kind of the same, but this time we're saying later and earlier rather than larger and smaller. Okay, you're still doing the larger number minus the smaller number because the later year is the bigger year. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the big number will always go here minus the smaller number. So here, what would we do here? If we're trying to figure out how much time has gone by from this to this, what would I do? Um, you would subtract probably. I would. Okay, so I'm going to take my later year. Which one's the later year? Uh, 1620. Very good. And what's the earlier year? 1492. 1492. Okay. So now I'm trying to figure out the difference. What is the elapsed time between the two? So I'm going to do that. I'm going to bring it over here to do it to the side so I can work it better. Okay. Two from zero. I need to borrow and bring one over. So we'll go eight, nine. I have to come from one, so I have to borrow another one. Bring that over. Nine from 11 is two. Four from five is one. And one minus one is zero. Okay. So how much years? is in between the earlier time and the later time. 128. 128. Very good. All right, that's lesson 35.